Hello everyone, it's Dream CF 444 Tarot. So let's jump on into the message here because I'm getting messages from my Revealed Intentions deck that someone is not ready for a commitment. I feel like someone could have addictions, they could be struggling with codependency issues. Um, this was trying to come out in the reverse, which makes me feel like, you know, someone could be overcoming it. So someone in the past could have had addictions, codependency, someone may not be uh, as codependent or may not be struggling as much with some addiction. But with that coming out in reverse, I don't want to just sit here and say someone is, you know, still here. It feels kind of like somebody's getting to a place where they're moving on. This could be, you know, someone who is now overcoming codependency, uh, you know, being attached to someone or being attached to a particular outcome. Someone could be letting that go. Someone could be like expanding their way of thinking, not holding on to things from the past. But it does say that someone's not ready for a commitment, that they are not over a past relationship. They either need time to heal or they need to end a past connection. So someone is connected to something in their past. And I feel like they are fighting to release it. Whether it's a person, place, or thing, someone is fighting to release it only i say that only because this card was coming out in reverse i see somebody here listening to their intuition and moving forward into their destiny it kind of makes me feel like there is someone who's overcoming an obstacle when they overcome it they're going to be ready but someone may not be ready at this moment because of the battles that they are fighting right now okay let's see who this person is the collective it could be an earth sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for some of you. All right. But I feel like this is someone who is putting in work and effort on themselves. Okay. This person seems to be committed to change. Tell me more about this energy here. This is someone who I feel needs to be patient because this says patient here. This is somebody who wants to wants to see something improve or something that they are working on they want to see the outcome so they're 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 dedicated to it they're very passionate about whatever this is that they want to see whether this is someone wanting to see themselves healed from from a codependent codependency or addiction this person is putting in the work and with the four of swords coming out here this is someone who oh look at all these <laughs> these background noises guys i guess this is confirmation for some of you okay so yeah this is someone who's who's could be a mental overload needing to heal like it says needing to heal needing to take some time to find a sense of peace within so i feel like this is definitely someone who is working on themselves and i feel like this is someone who you're connected to page of pentacles more earth energy i feel like this is someone who wants a solid beginning they want a fresh start this person could be making future plans you know they could be studying something new or something is just new for this person a new way of thinking a new way of living here five of cups is falling out here this is someone who may still be crying over spilled milk it's like somebody is going towards new opportunities in life but they're still struggling with some things from the past whether it's emotional struggles whether it's actually them being in a situation that they want to get out of but, you know, they're still feeling a little stuck. But I'm getting, I'm hearing nostalgia. So I'm, I'm hearing that this is more of in someone's mind here. Someone's mind, someone's emotions are still kind of trapped in the past. This is given like somebody who is having a hard time um, dealing with guilt, fear, you know, overcoming maybe decisions that they have made in their life. Tell me more about this person. Nine of Cups. So this person could have regrets over decisions that they made in the past, something that they may have thought was wish fulfillment. Okay, it feels like someone has lost something of value, something of importance. Someone may feel that they missed out on opportunities to fulfill their dreams, their happiness. I feel like whoever this person is, um, I feel like this person is in for a surprise. In a second, guys. Let's switch the music here. Commercial. Yeah, the song that's playing next is Will You Marry Me? So this person, yeah, this person is disconnecting from some things. It's like an emotional 
disconnect or something like that. They got a lot of regret over missed opportunities. Or this is someone who doesn't want to miss an opportunity. Lots of water out here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone doesn't want to miss an opportunity. It's like giving dream come true or some an opportunity for happiness and fulfillment. Bottom of the deck is Emperor. Somebody is going to boss up the Hierophant. Yep, the Empress. Wow, something is going to move forward for this person. Look at the Three of Cups. Somebody doesn't, somebody who is battling with something doesn't really see that there's about to be a reason for them to celebrate. This is someone who could be going into a commitment. There's the Emperor, there's the Empress here, and there's a Hierophant in between. This is like a, a God, this is like a divine intervention into a situation. And I feel like something is going to be rapidly changing for someone. Whoever this person is that has been overcoming and fighting with some, some battles of like demons from their past, this person, they may not be quite ready right now. What is the future energy for this person? Because I feel like this is someone about to experience a breakthrough in their life. This could be you. This could be someone else. It's not all about love here. Three of Cups. There we go. It comes out again. Look at the star card. The star. Hold on. I want you guys to see it. The star. This is Aquarius energy. More Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Six of Wands. I'm telling you. Somebody, somebody who is overcoming something. And even though they're still dealing with it, the emotions or the nostalgia from the past. Whoever this person is, they're about to have a reason to celebrate. What's coming in for this person? Oh, man. You got the three of wands. This person could be traveling. They could be at a distance. Okay? Something about um, on in the distant horizon. This person here is building up their self-confidence to move forward. This person is going to see reward for the efforts that they are putting in. Just, to, just loving themselves. There's the ace of wands. Fire energy. Uh, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Ace of Wands. This person is getting an opportunity for a new beginning. They're getting good news. Okay, something new is coming in. There's a there's a creative idea or a new passion that this person has. Okay, I feel like this person. I'm hearing all new everything, all new everything. Page of Swords with the Nine of Wands. So this is someone who has had a long ongoing battle with something they they're fatigued they're exhausted and i feel like this is why this person is determined this is someone who is dedicated to making a change in their life because they're sick and tired this nine of wands is somebody who's exhausted you know they're tired they learn from their past they learn from the failures and they're not trying to go in that direction they're at a place now where they're listening they're learning to be patient they're getting ideas and inspiration here with this page of sword. This is someone who's learning to think before they speak or not to be so hasty as well. When they think about the past, when they think about how certain things that they've done in the past, maybe they spoke too soon or they reacted too soon. What is this here? The, yeah, there it is. The strength card. This is someone... Who is learning how to be patient with with the process here and they're getting the inner strength to to push through all the challenges that come because something is an ongoing battle for them yeah there's the nine of swords someone could be an air sign aquarius Libra, gemini but i'm getting that someone is really dealing with a lot of anxiety so they're having to get control of their mind here because their thoughts they deal with a lot of nostalgia they deal with certain types of fear and anxiety here what is the advice here for this person? Guys, this, this could be a message for someone who you, you know, you, this could be for you. This could be for someone, a loved one, a relative, anybody, but I'm getting positive energy here from so, about someone who has been struggling. And if you're in a relationship with this person, they may not be ready right now because they're, they're healing. They've got some things that they've got to overcome, but they're doing the work. Whoever this is, they're doing the work. What's the advice here for this person? It does say someone is listening to their intuition and moving forward into their destiny. This person is destined for something and they're moving towards it here. Surrender the need to always be right. So whoever this is that I'm talking about, they could like to be right all the time about something. Maybe this is someone who's been, head, who's been headstrong 
in the past. This person is needing to surrender the need to always be right. Maybe um, maybe there's been some, some arguments and disagreements here about that. Maybe Because um, I'm getting someone who may have in the past been a bit impulsive or made hasty decisions. They're learning to be more patient with themselves and be patient with the process here. What also flipped over was surrender the habit of the habit of people pleasing. So this is someone who is letting go of the idea that they've got to please other people, that they've got to do things to make other people happy. This is someone who's going to be speaking what they need and they're going to be true to themselves and they're going to focus on their own happiness instead of trying to make everyone else happy. Because I feel like this could be someone who has gotten themselves in situations trying to please other people and then they end up stuck or they end up in, you know, in some chaotic situation because they were just trying to be helpful to someone else. Then you have surrender stubbornness here. If you are tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So this is someone who is letting go of this stubbornness. You know, or there's a need to. They're still working on themselves. Whoever this is, this could be you. This could be someone else. Someone here is letting, having to let go of the stubbornness. Be more patient. You know, be honest with themselves. This person is learning with the page of sword and the page of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, you, you may be being asked to be a little bit more patient with, with yourself or with the process because there could be someone who is, is struggling. And, you know, it's hard if you dealt with someone who's going through codependency, um, addictions, it takes a lot of patience. But I'm hopeful because that card was flipping out in the reverse that this person right here is going to find success. The final outcome for this person is the Three of Cups. They have a reason to celebrate here. Hmm. And I'm I'm pretty much good. I mean, this is um, this is positive. I feel like for some of you, this is your divine partner. This is um, this is someone who wants to be with you. I feel like this person is working on themselves to present something to you. Who's coming towards you? High vibing. Someone very positive. Uplifting. Family. This person, you could this could be your family member, or this could be someone that wants to have a family with you. Or you will have a family. You could end up marrying this person or be married to this person. Because I am getting the energy of commitment here. For that someone is going to go romantic. Yeah. This could be a romantic partner. Yeah. Whoever this person is, for those of you, this person wants it. Yeah. They want to have good times with you, good memories. They want to create a family with you. Yeah. All right. This is what's coming in for this person. Drinks could be involved here too. Now, I don't know, with, with codependency out here and addictions, be careful on the drinking. Okay, but because I see one, two, three, four, five drinks out here. I don't know how many people it is, but I see five drinks. So somebody could take them down a little too much. You know, balance. Yeah, balance. This is someone who I feel is going to balance, going to um, live a balanced life. They could be into yoga into fitness or something like that but i feel like this is someone who's going to have balance or they have someone that's in their life that's going to help to balance things out for them help them all right so guys i'm gonna leave this here beautiful message um if this resonates with you you guys leave it in the comments and if you are fighting with addictions please you know continue to keep pushing it, it does get better um speak the help that you need um i do always have in the description box the uh, website to um i forgot the name of it but i i've used them in the past but there's there are other companies there's better help there's um some other ones too that you can actually have very private um counseling sessions on the phone no one has to know you know what you're doing it would be they're quick to sign up so somebody may need to talk to somebody you know if if you're struggling because I do see you coming out on the other side of this victoriously, okay? So continue to fight, continue to do the work, whoever you are. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.
You hurt me with your antics You broke me till I couldn't recognize myself Accused me of the very things that you were doing yourself Never touched another man But to you there was always someone else I'm not a victim of